What is up guys? We are back with some more Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke and we are here. I think it's Hamelock. Um, the place that old girl called Desti. So now we're going to go to the cutscene and start up with B. Do you know, he's all hurt that he can't do the gym challenge anymore because he decided to destroy the, the mural. Uh, so now he kind of has like no reason to live, but luckily enough, Opal likes the way this man is dressed or this boy and pretty much wants to make him the new gym leader. It's like, it's weird for the character development that they do for him. It's, it's something you weren't really like expecting for the Pokemon game. I was, I wasn't expecting him to get kicked out like of the gym challenge when it first happen when I first interacted with it on sword I was like kind of I was like in my head I was kind of like whoa you can like kick people out of the challenge just like that like that's that's kind of burnt right there people don't know what burnt means it means messed up because nobody likes burnt food right it's messed up it's it's overkill which actually reminds me I haven't used that saying in the longest of uh, I kind of forgot what we were supposed to be doing. It says challenge the next gym at Sir Chester, which is all the way up there, um, which is cool. Uh, I think now I'll take that opportunity to catch uh, <laughs> the Pokemon in the area. I can't get Ultra Balls yet, which sadly I want to do, uh, but it was... Yeah, it was Dusty Bowl that I didn't catch anything, and then I also have a chance at Giant's Cap uh, for adding someone to the team. So, oh, let me, uh, I'm not going to start these fights. I'm just going to collect those Watts. Those are actually pretty clutch. And then uh, what I need to do, too, like, I keep recording these videos and then, you know, like, saving it and logging off, basically. I need to start doing these dens because, like I said, I think like the last time, I need, I need to get the, uh, the candies that'll help level up people faster. Uh, we have no business over there. Excuse moi Okay, now we're at the Dusty Ball, and it's raining, so I don't know what that means for our wild encounter. But I'm really hoping it's not like a water type. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be in this this area. I feel like yeah, we're we're gonna get a water type most likely. A Pelipper. Um, do I already, did I have a Wingle? I don't think I caught a Wingle. Oh my god, you're still too high of a level. Okay, I might have to come back later. I still can't I still can't catch these guys. Like well I can catch it, but uh the likelihood of that. Um this really sucks. Like why is why is Dusty Bowl so freaking high leveled like that? And that makes me kinda think like Giant's Cap is also uh high on level like that. Yeah, I was like, there was something here that I could have picked up to sell. That really sucks, but it's like, I know, like, this is, like, a good spot to go to for training, at least. Um, if I wanted to get the team up later. What am I doing? Why am I, why am I not just flying? Because we're going to have to go to Route 7, uh, which works out I can't remember if we have to fight um hop or not and I can't remember if hop switched out his team back to normal yet either so oh, didn't mean to do that uh we're gonna end up just heading this way I think up here was where the the little girl was yeah okay yeah that's why I never even went up here wow I'm tripping this is where you can pick up that letter from her uh, to deliver to the 
guy in the previous videos whose house I went into, but I thought I had the old letter. But enough time wasting. Yep, I'm over here collecting badges, girl. You know how it goes. I like how they had like the background character uh, the background character interact too and be like, oh what was that? Ho ho, let me go back to what I was doing though. What's good, Leon? My guy. Ah, oh, there you are, Hop. Just casually walking out like nothing happened. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have that battle with him. I just can't remember if he switched back to uh, his like original team. I say original, but it's kind of like his early route team or not. Um, and with coming to Route 7, that's also a new Pokemon we can catch. And depending on what Pokemon it is, we might want to add to the team. Which, I really need like a, another special attacker. I'm realizing like my team is really physical. Like four, four out of six. Oh, you started off. Ooh, you started off with someone I wasn't expecting. Well, this is horrible. So... I'm going to switch out into Neo. I thought he was going to start off with the water flying Pokemon. Oh, you do confused, right? You didn't go for a grass type man? I am shocked. I probably should have put Checkmate out there just for like an easy an easy like good amount of exp for the team i actually love that pokemon too i i just love like the design of it i've never actually like used it in battle i think it's like a physical grass type um what do we want to do for snorlax i really don't okay maybe tank buster will be good maybe the snorlax doesn't know Dark type move. Um, this actually makes me wish I had a fighting type move on Tank Buster, and I can't remember if I know um, if I have like the TM or TR for Brick Break or not. That would be good to put on. Oh, you know, Stockpile. Okay. Do your thing. I'm gonna just keep doing my stomping tantrum. Heavy slam. That's steel type? Okay, yeah, that did a lot more than I wanted it to do as well. <laughs> Hopefully, this is a smart switch out and his Snorlax. I don't think his Snorlax knows earthquake or ground moves. Uh, at this point, yet either. And I don't, I don't even remember what like the Snorlax ability is. It could have been Thick Fat, which I think like reduces fire damage. Is that what Thick Fat does? I don't know. Yeah, it probably has thick fat because Fire Fang was like a st Oh my gosh. Why, why, why? Why am I not prepared for a Snorlax? Oh, thank you for using Stockpile. Just don't heal up your, your boy. Oh, when I use this extreme speed, please. Okay, thank you. Yeah, now I have to think about adding like a fighting type move onto someone. Um, either Tank Buster or Checkmate. Uh, 
see, I want to go to Tank Buster, but I feel like Bolton's going to outspeed and... Uh, we'll just go to Checkmate. Bolton might outspeed Tank Buster and use like a Dark type move. I think it knows Bite, which I don't need it to be using on Tank Buster. Tank Buster hasn't even evolved yet, you know? Like I, I need the team to evolve. <laughs> I can't remember if Steel type does that much or not. Okay, let's just hope like he doesn't get a free. Okay, I think we're at like a decent level to make the the battle a bit challenging with with Hop now. Ooh, Sir Pex, Cinder Ace. Uh, yes, Cinder Ace, I will be using, uh, Nikki. Oh man, I miss teardrops. He just made me miss teardrops. Maybe I should, like, stockpile Aqua Ring. Because I don't remember if he has something for a water type Pokemon like that. Yeah, you're just gonna speed yourself up. Wouldn't you rather just use like a fire move to do damage that can speed you up instead of just agility? But then again, I think agility raises like the speed and all that way more. Huh. Yeah, use your use your signature fire move. <laughs> and you miss. How are you gonna speed yourself up just to miss, bro? You should have like ran into like the bridge wall or something. And then you just go for agility again. Is is he scared of us? Is he scared to use any other move? Aw oh man, I wish we crit on that. That would have been nice. Who's this last Pokemon now? That's what I really want to figure out. Okay, Shimmy Sham. Oh, that's why. Oh, that's why you were scared to do the switch out. <laughs> you have two fire Pokemon on your team, bro. What you what you doing out here, bro? I say it like I don't have two Pokemon on the team that's gonna be Steel type and two that's gonna be uh, Water type. But at least they're not like pure Water uh, and pure like Steel or something. Like they're both something different. You trying to trying to catch up? I see you. Yeah, get your garbage team out of here, bro. Hey, and Sir Pex is evolving. I actually watched an interesting video today. Um, it's actually Pokemon related, and it was um, I'm trying to remember whose channel it was, but he did a a fire red. Pokemon Fire Red like run through using Ash's team um, from like the season up to like the first Pokemon League. I uh, will get rid of Pluck. Yeah, because Home Claws will be pretty good for accuracy and attack. Um, but it was using like the team Ash used to go, like, get all the badges and uh, beat the Pokemon League. And it was interesting like how he went about the level concept because. Uh, he kind of like proved that levels was a thing, uh, being that there's, a, there's the episode with the Eevees, I think. I think it's like the Eevee trainer or something is like being bullied by 
No, it wasn't Eevee trainer. It was just some random trainer, I think. It was just being bullied by other trainers in, in like a Pokemon school. So they had him on the treadmill running, asking like, hey, like, what level does Pidgey learn, like, certain moves? And he was like, oh yeah, level 1 is this, level 5 is that, level 12 is uh, XYZ. He healed me up, I think that's what he said. And... Oh, uh, man. I don't, I don't want you. I don't want you. <laughs> and so he like went through and like got Pikachu as like his starter. Of course, like he like hacked the ROM to do so. Um, which, which is fine if you're doing like the challenge and all that stuff. So he hacked it so he could get Pikachu as a starter. Uh, he made it so it was like the Pokemon. He made it so it was basically Charmander. So Gary would have to. Gary would have to pick up, um, oh my, I got a Shellman, I can't even evolve you. I can't, e oh bro, aren't you like seal type too? I think he evolves into like my least favorite one too, the one that kind of looks like, like a ninja or something, but, um, he catches, or not catches, he gets the, the Pikachu, beats the Squirtle, and then they, he like, skipped through and like, went to where he caught, um, where he caught a Caterpie at like, level 4, and then caught a Pidgeotto, and he was like, doing like, the battles as if he was Ash, like, he had his Caterpie fight the Pidgeotto, and like, get his butt kicked, and then he caught the Pidgeotto with ease, actually. Um... So, I, I hold on. I'm like talking too much. I'm like, I, I need to pay attention to catching this guy. Um, so, uh, maybe I should switch into. Maybe I'll switch into Sir Pet. So. Catches the Pidgeotto and then goes challenges Brock after evolving Caterpie to Butterfree to getting it to like a certain level based off the moves that the Pokemon used in the anime. So he started off with Butterfree and Butterfree, you know, put in no work <laughs> because you know Brock's a rock gym, so there's not much his Caterpie could do, especially because he didn't he even made sure like he didn't use confusion because I don't think Ash used confusion with his Butterfree when he went up against Brock. So he just used um I think he used was it was it Leer? Can can Butterfree learn Leer? It was what it was some move that like lowered the defense of the dude that cat uh, he had Butterfree used. And after that, he used Sand Attack with Pidgeotto on the Onyx that came out to lower its accuracy enough to where Rock Tomb was missing like crazy. Okay, we caught the Shelmet, which can only be evolved by trading it with a Carablast. Yeah. Um, we're going to call you... Uh, Dynamite. I don't know why, but we're calling you Dynamite. I'm most likely not even going to use Shelmet on the team because I can't even evolve Shelmet. Uh, okay, they're blocking our way. And we're actually going to battle these trainers just, just because we need to get the EXP. Oh, you're going to turn your back as soon as I'm ready to fight you, girl? <laughs> But okay, we caught our Route 7 Pokemon. It was pretty useless. Uh, okay, maybe instead I started off with uh, Neo against the uh, Rybombi. We can fire Fang, go butt. Paul and Puck. What does Paul and Puck do? Okay, just, it's just a bug type move. Bye bye. Okay, you're just a bug trainer. I could have had Neo or Serpex go out there for that fight. Are you faster? Okay, yeah, I was like, you're not faster than me too. But I think um, my zombies are just extremely fast in general. So, 
so that's nothing to really worry about. Um, this chick was pretty easy to defeat. Now it's just a matter of what the other guy has on like the rest of the route. That's one thing I didn't like too um, for this game was that the routes were really small. We're used to like the longer Pokemon routes or at least like a bunch of routes connecting together to make it make it feel like a little a little more challenging. Oh, there's some Inkays there. Which can only evolve like when they hit a certain level and you have to like literally like flip your Nintendo Switch upside down or your 3DS depending on if you're playing on a 3DS so. I'm actually trying to decide if I want to go back and get myself um, a 3DS again. I had one and I like, traded it in when I got my Nintendo Switch. But since Pokemon Home came out, I have all my Pokemon and Pokemon Bank. Especially like my competitively bred ones and shiny ones that I've won from different Pokemon Facebook groups and stuff. Um, that I might want to bring on here. I heard that completing the National Dex gets you... Um, at Magurnia. I think that's the name of the Pokemon. I've never used Magurnia. I've never even watched like the movie for it, but I think there's one or two movies involving that mythical Pokemon. And also, I think in other news, there was a Pokemon, another myth, like mythical Pokemon announced um, for like the DLC that's coming out, and a lot of people are saying that it's supposed to be um, Alakazam. A version of Alakazam though, uh, they said it's been confirmed or something like that, I don't know, I, I haven't done my research to really verify that or not, but it looks like it's going to be pretty interesting. I still have yet to buy the DLC though, um, I'm trying to decide if I want to do it with sword or shield, and I can't remember if the... DLCs are going to have version exclusive Pokemon or if it's just the trainer that's version exclusive. I think it's just the trainer that's version exclusive. There's a poison and a psychic one or a fairy one. Okay, now we're on another route, um, which means another don't touch me if it's oh my god, I'm getting Pokemon I can't even like, I would love to have Gengar on my team, like you guys don't know how fast I would put Gengar on my team if I could evolve it. Oh, that's gonna do 39 damage. I really wish that wasn't my encounter. I need Pokemon that I can get to like the final evolution stage. Okay, but oh you can learn night slash now whoop, whoop. we can get rid of assurance um, assurance came in clutch for us but night slash I think has critical chance on it oh man we about to wreck with night slash oh my gosh uh, yes we're gonna call you ooga booga ooga and then let me do that space. <laughs> Ooga Booga. And we're gonna send you to the box. Um, honestly, like if I, if I had like online for this account, which I might end up, do I think I have the family account. I might as well like put all my accounts to where they can access the internet. And I might see about uh, having my friend trade with me or something uh, and trade back that Haunter. I might do the same for uh, Shelmet too. Who knows? But, oop, don't touch me. Is there something, there's nothing up here. Why am I, why am I still climbing? There's something over there though. Uh, don't remember what Pokemon they have. But I'm gonna try to see if I can get to um, 
the next town before ending off the video. Hopefully these battles don't take too long. Okay, good, you have a Rosalia. Ugh, Rosalia. Which, again, makes me miss Zelda. Zelda put in work for the team. Zelda didn't do no wrong. It was just unfortunate that I messed up on that battle. It wasn't it wasn't with Shimmy Sham that I lost Zelda. It was against um It was against Marnie. When I was fighting Marnie, like I definitely could have took her with a different Pokemon, but for some reason I got scared about her uh her Pokemon uh what was it called? The one that's like Pikachu, but not Pikachu, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, we know Bite, so we're good. We chomping on you. I need to go talk to like the, the move tutor guy to see if now I'm at like a level where I can learn um, stronger moves for Arcanine. Because I don't think Arcanine is going to learn like anything through level up. It was all primarily through Growlithe that Arcanine learns like all its moves and stuff, but they, they'd like to do that with like Pokemon that evolve from um, evolve from stones where they're like, oh, you might want to level it up to this level to get this move before you use like the, the evolution stone. But they kind of made it easier to where it's like, if it's past like that level, you can go back because it's officially like in its like move pool, I think, from before. If not, then... Oh, oh well, I guess I'm SOL. Ooh, dodged you, and I missed that glowing item there. I don't know what that was. Uh, was there anything? Oh yeah, there was the, the HM here. Or, not HM, the TM. Man, that makes me remember, I miss HM. Smart Strike, was that a dark type move? And it never misses. I feel like, um... I feel like that's a dark type move. Who can... Who can learn it? Oh no, it's steel. And nobody can learn it. <laughs> Ain't that funny. It's funny because I think this one's like one of my least favorite. Oh, I don't. What's that item? <laughs> oh, hyper potions, perfect. <laughs> I need those. Whoop, whoop, excuse me, pardon. Did I just hit the Bulldor? Dang. I really hit the Bulldor. But we, we aren't gonna fight you, bro. I don't want to. I don't want to waste like a switch out that could really hurt the team, you know. Okay, we got ourselves an elixir. Ah, oh, luxury balls. These are actually like my favorite pokeballs to use. Excuse moi. Let's battle it out, girl. Oh man, I remember when I first like saw this thing, I was like, what the heck is a Dreepy? And then, come to find out, this is the Pokemon part of the pseudo-legendary line. When its final form shoots out Dreepies out of like, its, its face. <laughs> Which is weird to me. It just shoots it out its face like nothing. Just because we're still trying to get you caught up in levels. Let's go, Nikkei. I'm actually proud of the team. Um, well, aside from like my favorites that we are missing, like. I still would wish I, I had Zelda and not Shimmy Sham. <laughs> and maybe I do wish I still had teardrops. But I don't know, I think I have like a nice a nice balance coming to the team. 
Again, Serpex might get switched out for something later. I'm just, I'm just not sure what. Excuse me. Let's battle, bro. I'm probably like, when I end this episode, I'm gonna go like, fight in those dens too. Just so I can get some more, uh, more of the candies. I keep talking about the candies. That's like how you know, like, I really want the things. Cause I think like I'm doing well with like the leveling for at least like these trainers and then like for the gym it's like their strongest Pokemon has um, like two or three levels over me. Which plays a big part in this game, they're really focusing on levels now. Um, as well as stats, but like the level does to me at least make a big difference in how much damage you're going to do to like that Pokemon. I'm trying to remember what, what TM is up there too. Woo! Is there? Okay. Almost got tackled by that thing. I think everybody said that fighting Pokemon is like a really good fighting type to use. Um, you're bug ground, I think. We're gonna we're gonna check first with the. Uh, with the fire type move, hopefully it doesn't use something to obliterate Neo. Rock slide. Oh good, we avoided it. See I thought I thought it was bug ground. I think the steel typing will cancel out the, the rock slide. I used X to me. Okay, even even worse of an option. What is it's okay, so you're not maybe are you just watered round? What what is it sniping? I've never used crustal before. Oh man, I'm gonna have to look that up. Like, what, what, what is Crustle's typing? Okay, that was good EXP though. Okay, there we go. Now we got Brick Break, and I can put that on two, two people now. I think Tank Buster and Checkmate can. Can learn brick. Oh, I could put it on three, but there's no point of putting it on Shimmy Sham. We're gonna get rid of Shadow Ball. So, that'll be. I'm not gonna put it on Checkmate just because I feel like. Uh, oh, maybe I should, though. What about like when we go up against like a dark type? Cause what do I have? I can put out Tank Buster, but Tank Buster's ghost. So he'll definitely get uh, effed up um, if he's outsped by like the dark type Pokemon. We're just gonna do this double battle just to finish things off. Colleagues, Allison and Jordan. Oh my gosh, you guys have strong Pokemon. This is horrible, actually. Oh, uh, this actually makes me want to switch out into Serpex for Neo. I was really hoping for something, something more efficient, uh, but I think we have to get rid of Excadrill first. Excadrill is the biggest threat. Um, it's funny because I love Hippowdon. Yeah, you use Dig, so... You're gonna... Dang. I should have predicted you was gonna use Dig. We'll home closet up. You're gonna miss. Yeah, you thought. 
But now it's kind of like, what? What do I really use? Oh, okay, that. Who are you using Yawn on? On Shimmy Sham? Yeah, they're, they're scared as Shimmy Sham. Um, that should take it out. I don't know who else is coming out, if it's a threat or not. But okay, we got rid of the Escadrille. I love Escadrille as well. I don't think it would be that bad to be like a ground... a ground, uh, trainer? Or a gym leader? Uh, I thought they were going to send out, like, the next Pokemon Ace set, but I guess wrong. And you put, put my boy to sleep. Oh, you got a Lucario. Well, that kind of works out for us. Um... Uh, Because I think I'm going to just heal up Shimmy Sham. I don't, I don't think a switch out would be best for us to do. Woo -woo. Yeah, that home clause definitely like raised our attack by a good, a good amount. We're just gonna drill peck the crap out of Hippowdon and whatever else comes out. Because Jordan is done. So maybe Shimmy Sham will wake up. Heavy Slam. Uh, Heavy Slam would be good to have. I guess we'll get rid of Defense Curl. Man, this video is actually like decently long. And I think it's because of all the battling I was trying to get in here. Ah, Berserker. Which, I'm like, I might as well just. I might as well just use the. the steel type move. Or the flying move. Oh good, you woke up just in time. You guys are 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 gone. GG. Ooh, that was a crit too, nice. Oh, we got three level ups out here. Proud of y'all. Is there any items here? What was, what was back here? Oh, terrain extender. Okay. But, um, guys, now, with that said, we're gonna, we're gonna end off this video here. I don't think there was a cutscene when we got here in the town. I think it just shows you the town and that's it, maybe. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Oh no, we're still not there yet. Does this count as like a new route? Because it's it said steam drift away, but it still says route eight. Does does that count? I, I want to say it counts because it gave it like a different name. Um, because that means we can catch an ice type Pokemon. But guys, that's that I'm in this episode off here. Next episode, we're gonna start off by catching a Pokemon over here, just because it gave it a different name, guys. I think that counts. But make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel. It helps out the channel a lot. With that said, stay sharp. Later.